The Apple Maker SK61 is a budget 60% optical keyboard that is highly popular. So let's see if all this hype is deserved. The SK61 is of course a 60% keyboard and on Amazon.com it is only $65 US which might put it in a lot of people's budgets and it is also hot swappable with other optical switches and is able to be used wirelessly and wired. It comes in a few different colorways, either black, pink, gray, or this panda theme which actually looks pretty cool. I got mine in the black colorway. It also has many different switch options like Gateron Optical Black, Blue, Red, Yellow, or the ones I got which are brown meaning that they are tactile but are not clicky like the blue switches. Out of the box it comes with a nice black braided cable but I do believe the color of the cable depends on which color keyboard you get so just keep that in mind. It also comes with a keycap puller, a switch puller, a few keycaps in case you're using this keyboard for a Mac, and the quick start guide which you are definitely going to need as the secondary functions are not printed on the keycaps. My first impression when pulling the keyboard out of the box was it was a lot heavier than I expected at 738 grams which I enjoy as I feel heavier keyboards feel a bit more premium. The case is made of plastic and has 4 rubber feet on the bottom of the keyboard but does not have any height adjustment which is okay because the angle it is at is fairly good and is what I'm used to. The keycaps are made of PBT plastic and uses a GSA profile which are similar to XDA profile keycaps. This means that each row is exactly the same height which might take some getting used to as usually the closer to the number keys you get the taller the keycaps are but in any case this adds to the sleek design of the keyboard. They are also not backlit so you won't be able to see the RGB through the keycaps which kind of sucks. Speaking of the RGB lights, they are not as bright as most other keyboards. They are actually pretty dull, but I have seen that if you get this with the white case, they do seem to be a little bit brighter. You can control the RGB on board or use the software, which is the same software the GK61 uses. The software is pretty good, it just takes a while to learn, but after you do, you can pretty much do anything you want on it, like setting macros or making custom lighting effects. For the onboard functions you are going to need the quick start guide, it shows you all the secondary functions and how to use the bluetooth on this keyboard, so make sure you don't throw it out if you end up getting this keyboard. The switches like the GK61 are optical Gateron switches. The difference between optical and regular mechanical switches are that optical switches don't use metal contacts, they instead cut off an invisible light to activate the switch which means they should last longer and they are also a little quicker than regular mechanical switches. The optical switches do feel smoother but they are a lot more hollow feeling and a little bit louder. The good thing is since this keyboard is hot swappable you can easily take out the switches to lube them and the stabilizers which are also pretty loud. I would also recommend putting a foam pad in the case to take away some of the echo if you want to mod this keyboard. Here is a quick sound test of the Gateron Optical Browns in this keyboard. Just remember you can only replace the switches with other optical switches so you won't be able to replace them with regular mechanical switches. For the arrow keys I like how you can easily press the function and use them as normal. It is a lot more natural than some other 60% keyboards. You just have to press the function key and either the question mark, alt, menu or control keys. This keyboard is also water resistant with IPX6 rating which means it won't break if you accidentally spill water on it which is super sweet they included it on such a budget friendly keyboard. But still I wouldn't go pouring water on my keyboard if I was you. It also features N key rollover which means that you can press all the keys at the same time and they will all register. 
It is just insane that this keyboard has this many features and is this cheap. So if you are looking for a budget keyboard, the SK61 is a good choice with just how many features it has and is a great beginner board and if you mod it, it just becomes that much better. I will also be comparing the SK61, GK61 and RK61 next week to declare the best one so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to see the true winner of the best budget 60% keyboard. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And if you want, I have a Discord channel which just hit 100 members which is insane. So if you would like to join that, the link will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.